Hey guys, um, I'm back to my roots with some more hammer today. Been a while since I've done an unboxing or any video besides those ones I'm trying to turn went up. So, um, I just ordered a small package to get back into the mood of things today from uh, me wargaming on their anniversary sale, I guess, three year anniversary sale, if you like that. Anyway, um, going back to my roots, basically, and you'll be able to see what's, what I have in here. Factory material. Invoice. That's, you know, that's why I order from Mini Organ right there. I love those mic mics. And, uh, you got a hundred magnets. That's a lot of magnets. A lot of small ones magnets. And, um, I'm going to have to cut this from the other side and push it up. I can't do it that way. Okay. Recycle. Okay. You guys didn't see that, did you? Yeah, Imperial Guard Shock Troopers, so I'm going back to the Imperial Guard. Um, let's have a little chat here while I unbox this. Basically, I kind of burned myself out of the hobby there a while back, you know. I was just doing so many videos and, you know, just everything I was doing was with the hobby, so. It's, it gets tiring after a while. Um, I lost my tripod too, don't know where the hell that is, how someone can lose a tripod, I'm clueless. Um, so, you know, I decided to go back to my roots because Imperial Guard is something I really like. I love the fluff, I love the uh, the basic army um, bases, of course. You know, I, I love shock troopers, gotta represent Canada. Um, so yeah, this is going to be, I think, what I'm going to do with the army, I'll probably buy a bunch of everything, but what I'm going to try to do is, I'm going to actually try to make a shock troop army. So I'm going to have lots of, uh, lots of troops in it, actually. Um, but yeah, um, and, you know, have some basilisks and shit in the back supporting. So let's take a look at the sprues. You've seen this all before, but I just want to talk about something. Um, you know, you get your chain sword, grenade launcher, flamethrower, five different arms for the uh, LAS rifles, flashlight guns, a little LAS pistol there, and five arms. Nothing cool. Same. Okay. This piece, we got. Uh, Five legs. We got a box caster. One of all my squads to go with a box because I think box is cool. I'm going to magnetize the special weapons actually. So um, let's see how that works. I'm not sure it's going to work with the flamethrower. Why not do that? I don't know. I'll think about it. Um, you know, so you know, this is the same sprue that's been in there for a while now. Um, I enjoyed my time. It's, you look at me now. Oh my god, ugly hair. Uh, I enjoy my time in China. It is sweet. Everything's so cheap there, besides Warhammer. That's uh, that's expensive over there because of the tax and everything. But, um, so I'm back into the mood of things now. I'm in my university as well, so I'm going to be a little slow getting up videos, but, um, you know, I'll be back with you guys. You know, I'll be showing stuff off. I'll be Paint me up shit. I like to use the word shit. It's a pretty cool word. Anyway. Um, also, I have this from a while ago. 
I'm a, it's a medic. Box trooper. It's a command squad, by the way. Uh, yeah, I saw that guy before. He's the uh, company commander, I guess. And a multi melt uh, And a uh, standard bearer where it like fell off. Um, something to know about the standard bearers, what I did is because, you know, the flag is so top heavy. Took a penny, just glued it in the bottom, cut out the lens for now. Okay, going to the ramp. Let's see. Yeah, they have it. Okay. I hate, hate these bases. They have a little, you know, lip in there. Everyone knows them. Anyway. Heavier units that don't fit on the base, you know, they're always to afford. They make it hard as hell to get a penny in here now. Basically, what you got to do, you have to like cut out the inside piece here, where they never made a slit because they're lazy. And uh, you know, it takes like five minutes per base. Oh, fuck. Anyway, I'm only gonna be buying stuff when it's on sale. 30 or 20 percent off, whatever. Uh, Games Workshop prices are ridiculous. Um, I don't really. This is 30 dollars for four sprues. Now, these are the same sprues that they've been using since probably like 2002. Eight years, right? They recouped their costs and then like 40 million times <laughs> that. I'm exaggerating a little bit, or maybe not. Anyway, so you know, the artist is paid off. The the molds are probably almost mass manufactured now for these. Where does the cost come in anymore, you know? You're printing the same sprues that you have for eight years. I don't know. I hate it. Oh, expensive hobby. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Do a video once I uh, have these guys all built and do another ramble. See ya.